If I remember the question, it was, what happens if a quark falls into a black hole? You have a quark pair. Yes. And we've only ever found them in quark yeah. pairs. Yeah. Okay. And in a normal lab, if you take them and pull them apart, the force that wants to bring them together grows, mm -hmm. which sounds weird when you're used to gravity and other things where distance makes something weaker. But they're like really creepy identical twins. <laughs> <laughs> like you ever meet identical twins that are like super creepy they, where they sort of where talk, they together, kind of talk together, and together and they got their own language yeah yeah yeah, yeah and they okay do, right so but it's it's kind of like a rubber band yeah because you stretch a rubber band the force is greater yeah the okay. gluonic force between them the gluonic force yeah. Yeah. is held together by gluons. by gluons okay so now okay as i pull it apart there will be a point where it snaps as i understand my nuclear physics it snaps with the exact amount of energy you put in, so that out of that energy creates two other quarks. Yeah. So now I have four quarks. Quark, quark anti-quark pairs. Pairs, so thank yes. you. Yes. Okay, yeah. pairs, yeah. okay. So now. So you wanna see what happens. Now you yeah. send a pair of quarks down the black hole, it gets split, we make two other quarks. Thank you. <laughs> then this good. That was very good. <laughs> and you keep doing this, and they, so wouldn't the quarks eat the entire gravitational field of the black hole. Yeah. And that you wouldn't have a black hole left, you just have a ball of quarks. You have to realize, number one, that we still don't know the under uh, the physics of the singularity of a black hole well enough. Why else did I invite yeah. you into this yeah. office now? So, so, well, I wish one day, one Dude, day I pray that I'll sit the, here and the, tell you what happens at the singularity of a black hole. Bring the person who knows yeah. next time. But here's the thing, there is nobody on planet Earth who knows the answer, unfortunately, yet.